What's up, everyone? What's up, everyone? I just want to make sure that we're recording here. So I'm going to share my screen. Another useful resource uh, for teachers out there is a Google Classroom site or a Google uh, website. All you have to do is go to sites.google.com slash new, um, and then you're going to go ahead and hit create new site. Oh, click the plus sign, sorry, for create a new site. It's that simple. It's that easy. You can go through your own formats, everything else. You can create your pages, um, layouts. You can go in there and see different ones. Um, image carousel, what you want on there. Documents. It's pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, you can do different layouts here. Um, to add whatever you want to add now. Have fun with it. Title it whatever you want to. Create your own plugins whatever you need to do. The next thing is you can create a table of contents, add that into it. You could do a different image carousel, um, different buttons, different dividers. You could add your YouTube channel to it. Um, document slides, sheets, forms. Forms are great. If you want to put a Google form in, it's just embedded. It's pretty quick and easy. So play with it. Another link would be um, going to YouTube and just how to set up a Google Classroom or a Google site. Now, for me, what I did is I created a website um, back when I was teaching, and I had a little QR code. You can go to a free QR code scanner uh, or creator on Google, and you just put your link into it, and then you create a QR code. So this is something I used this um, a while ago when I was teaching, um, and I put assignments under Practice for Success. You need something like this so students can click on it. So they go ahead and they click on the link, and it brings you up straight to the website. Now, this was what my website was for me, um, where I was teaching. I want to make sure that we had access to information for all. And so I also gave extra credit for my students to um, create uh, or to translate our directions from English into Spanish into different languages as well. So I got this all from my students as well. Um, Contact Me was in there. Practice for Success was my homework. And so in here, they can click on Statistics Chapter 6. They understood what the problems were. They also had the notes, so they can click on the notes. Boom, it pops up. Now, earlier, if you saw the how to uh, Google Classroom setup, you just take this and you transfer it over. Or you just sign, assign them this, and they can go through the notes for the different things that they need to. Now, these were the notes that were not finished. There's also notes that are finished that you can utilize as well um, for different ones. So here's another thing, distribution notes. This is what we went through in the classroom. So you could also post the things that you want them to, to cover with the, with the notes. So let me go back out here for practice for success. Let me ch choose another one. Um, we were doing the whole unit. I want to say that I had notes in here that were complete. Let me just check and see if any of these are. No, these are just assignments, just worksheets. Oh, so here we would have scatter plot key. So all I either do is put key and then you just go through the notes with them there. They can go in and check for their own thing. And then their assignment if they have their book. If not, no worries, you can still sign other things. So you can look for that. Um, what I would always do is I would always give like, um, different things that they can do uh, throughout the year. Now I have 145 different tabs on here. Again, utilize what you can. I was a person that I always loved to give them the keys because at the end of the day, you gotta know how to do the problem before you can do anything else. So here we go, 2.2 day one notes key, histograms, just some quick things. Now they would have uh, one without the key and one with the key that you could then post. And the cool thing with this, if you have a smart board in your classroom, you can just download this immediately. So just save as key, download as a PDF, put into your website or put into your um, put into your Google folder. And this way they, you have all the information. You can teach it from here. You can even do a Zoom account, which is what we're working on right now, a free Zoom. You could then record whatever you need to share your screen and talk it through. So if I was teaching this lesson, I would go back through and to the very beginning and i would just give them the highlights so histograms are bar graphs and the difference between a regular bar graph and the bar graph here for a histogram is the bars always touch 
because that equals a value. Uh, the widths represent quantitative value, height represents frequency. So I would go through the notes and just take them through line by line to help them out. Um, so here are some things that I did in my classroom. Uh, feel free to utilize the same. Now this is in math. You can do the same thing in any other subject. Create your own website, quick and easy. They had the steno uh, pad for me already. I didn't have to create any of this, like the formatting and everything else was already done for me. Um, so go ahead and do that. I also put useful links in here. And here I use Khan Academy and Class Zone because it helps with those things for math. Uh, I had a class calendar that had the different, um, this was back in 2015, but different assignments that were due during those times. Let me see if I can go back to, oh, I don't want to go that far. But anyways, um, extra credit for me, I already used, if you already know another language, you get extra credit and it linked up to Duolingo. And so the kids were also learning English, Spanish, uh, French, Italian. Those are the main ones that my students wanted to see. Um, but I know Duolingo opens up other things. But these are just some fun things that you can utilize now that you have students at home. Feel free to check it out. Um, my, my website is right here. So feel free to just copy that and go check it out. Do what you need to. Um, have a great day. All right. Sounds good. Peace.